a last morning cup of coffee. Actually, it's not. I do get to have one tomorrow because tomorrow's Saturday. Bear in mind that this video is going to be all over the place because I am that last minute. I need to clean the house, find Ramadan decorations, somehow potentially do some food shopping and open up a bunch of packages as well as all the other usual things like do the school run, work out, edit some videos, do some work. But at least I enjoy my coffee. And breathe! Okay, so I've got my new, not my new camera, my old ca camera out ready for Ramagam. Ramagama ding dong. I'm allowed to say that, I'm Muslim. Um, but the thing is, I was supposed to start filming Ramadan vlogs portrait so that I can also use that content across all the other social media pla platforms, platforms, platforms. But the only thing is, um, is that it's weird. Look, look at this portrait. Like, okay, it looks fine here, but the thing is, it's weird when I'm holding it. Like I look like I'm a strange person. So I'd rather not do that and be, and like, look, I'd, I'd just rather like, I'd just rather not look questionable in public. Anyway, I just nearly had a breakdown this morning after you saw me have my coffee, which is, by the way, the only time that I get a bit of peaceful, peacefulness in the morning. That's kind of that time before the kids wake up. And then I get peacefulness again at night when they go to sleep. And it's very short, it's about an hour in the morning and about two hours at night. Um, so anyway, after that, when the kids woke up, suddenly it was just like everything was just 100 miles an hour and everything was triggering me. Suddenly I just got stressed and I don't know why. Well, I do know why. It's probably because it's Ramadan on so Saturday night. So the first fast is on Sunday. So I really want to do like a big clean. Although I did a big clean last week and actually just found somebody who can come to the house and help me clean and she's actually coming on monday inshallah so maybe i don't need to do a huge clean i just need to just do a regular tidy and just a light clean maybe what is that stuff on that tree this is so weird um yeah so anyway i don't know what it is but when i get triggered in the morning like sudden sudden panic of needing to do things and nobody else is on the same is in the same kind of wavelength as me or like everyone else is just lounging about quite rightly I just get really annoyed because I'm like why are you not seeing the urgency of the things that we need to do but they're just kids and my husband is literally just like woken up and he's like what's the matter with you bro everyone's chilling like relax so anyway I just dropped Hannah off to school and did the breakfast and the getting them ready in the morning and all that business then i quickly had to go to the post office to return some things that i've been holding off for a long time because i have this thing that when i order something i really like if it doesn't fit or i don't want it i don't return it it takes a lot for me to return something purely because i don't know why <laughs> i don't know why so this morning something arrived these shoes arrived like gym shoes and they didn't fit so I was like right this is not happening again because it happened last week and I didn't return them and now it's too late um so I just sorted it out there and then and went straight to the post office after the school drop and that's the only way I will ever get anything done if I do it in the moment that I find the problem if I leave it for another time it will not get done this light is so bad let me bring you guys like let me bring you guys like this, which is also horrendous, but okay. So my old camera is out, which is this one, and the screen for it goes to the right, so that's why I'm always looking off to the right, which is so bad. Let me put the screen away and just talk to you guys. I've got Mika's health visitor. I've got Mika's health visitor. Sorry, I just had to repeat that because sometimes I feel like I'm really mumbling my words or I'm not pronouncing them properly. And I've really noticed that with... Uh, with age actually no I'm just imagining it but I th don't think my speech is all like I keep fumbling my words I am fumbling them a lot and even the other day what did I write I wanted to write I wanted to write the word session s-e-s-s-i-o-n right session but for some reason I just kept writing it s-e-s-h-i-o-n and I was like what the f is wrong with me 
like spelling is my one of my strong stronger kind of points in education is it i don't know really going off topic here i'm so distracted bruv on my days which is one of the reasons i didn't want to do vlogs anymore because it's hard to make it make sense but you're getting this vlog in preparation for Ramadan. i'm spitting everywhere did you guys know that i used to have a stutter slash stammer and sometimes it creeps back in i can feel it and so does my brother Hassan. We both share that in common. It's that kind of day. I don't actually know. Anyway, shut up, Dina. Let's go inside. Okay, I could scream from happiness. Right, put this into perspective. I was just in the car with you guys five minutes ago talking about how stressed and overwhelmed I am because I've got a bunch of things to do. I walk into the house. The things that I'm stressed about have been done. He's op Sid has opened up my kettlebell packages and laid them out for me. Also tidied the kitchen. <laughs> I believe he's now cleaning the carpet upstairs where one of the cats puked. So all of a sudden my mood is just, oh, settled. And I feel like he read that from me when I left the house. He read that I was getting a bit triggered. Good marriage tip for any men out there. If your woman is noticeably getting triggered or overwhelmed and trying to hold it together in the mornings, take notice and do the thing. Just literally, if you just do anything in the house that includes tidying or cleaning, he knows how much I hate opening packages and sorting out the recycling. Wait, let me check if he did the recycling. He did it, he did it. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's fine. See, I'm not mad about that because he's, he's doing the things. You know, it's a teamwork thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Hey! What's that in the kitchen? <laughs> in so much packaging is actually so stressful. It's not that stressful, but I just get so stressed. I still need to find Mika's red book, I think. Do health visitors still do that? I don't even know. But basically, so my dad, right, he is trying to go away for Ramadan. He's trying to go to Amra, but there's been some complications with his like ticket or the, all the rules that you got to do. So I've just spent the last half an hour trying to deal with that as well. No, stop it! Stop it! He's trying to get behind the scenes of me vlogging and doing TikToks and it's just lame. Come back! Exactly. Look, he's walked away, you know why? I'm talking about Sid now, obviously not my dad. Cause he's in his pajamas, he's back, look! He's so sneaky. I'm doing a vlog, what are you doing? Damn, stop walking away, there he is. There he is. Sid, are you excited for Ramadan? You're happy chappy when the camera's on, isn't it? Yeah, I'm happy chappy. I just told them I went mad. Go on, flex. Waste man. Come on, you got your, um, you got your, what are those tops called? A vest. Yeah, it's called never wear that again. Pajama. You ready for Ramagam? You got one, you got today and tomorrow left of eating. What, oh, really? Our first fast is Sunday, isn't it? Look at Good Charlie. Enough. Get him off the counter, you just wiped it. <laughs> I'm going to the attic to see if I can find Ramadan decorations and Sid is not here so I have to try and do it myself and this kind of scares me but we as independent lady oh, oh shit that's heavy Woo! hello hello shit how do I even this one in there is that what the stairs just fall out at me, baby. How do I take this out? Fuck, shit. Why do I do this? Shit, this is scary. How do I take the... Oh, I can't do 
can't do it. Oh, just put it back. That's the safest option. Oh, phew. Is that locked? Okay, I think that's locked. Oh, that's scary. Okay. I can't do that till Sid comes back, so... Wow. Oh, that was a bit scary. Ooh. Okay. Just don't want Mika to come upstairs now in case that falls. Oh, see, now I'm just getting paranoid, bro. Anyway, I had a whole bunch of samples come through for I Like Me, which is um, a whole bunch of samples for sportswear that I'm trying to develop. But it's just not looking how I pictured. Well, it's close, to be fair. But the fabric that I wanted to use, I don't think it's going to work with the design. I don't know, we'll see. Feeling a bit bummed, to be honest with you, because we were waiting so long for those samples and then, obviously, it just means it's going to take much longer than I had originally anticipated, which is fine. I don't know why I'm surprised, like, the amount of times we go back and forth with samples is ridiculous. It literally takes, like, over a year, maybe even close to two years to get one design on board. Like, if you want to perfect it. But no, we don't, we're not far off. It's fine. I need to stay hopeful. Yeah. Look at this guy sleeping in my room. Look, he's so cute. Sleeping in all my clothes. The mess. He does not want to be disturbed. I was actually going to straighten my hair today, guys. But then I thought, allow it, bro. Just wear it in plaits and have waves. Until... You can be bothered to straight, straighten it. Also, I feel like I want to dye it brown now instead of have this deep red. What do we think? Does anyone actually know how to go from this kind of ready colour, which you can't actually see right now, but to go from this sort of colour to a lighter brown without bleach? By the way, ordered myself a fresh rope. The skipping ropes I use are the Rush Athletics um, speed ropes. Money rope, I think it's called. Uh, favorite one, and I need a new one probably every like three or four months, depending how much I skip. Also, the kettlebell collection now runs from a 24 kg to 20 kilos, 118 kilo to 16 kilos. We now have two new 14 kilos. This one came a bit damaged, which I'm a bit annoyed about, but whatever. And then we have my 12 kilos over here. And then I have an eight kilo, which I've got under the desk over there because it keeps the table a bit steady. So we are now running on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 11 kettlebells to my collection. And I probably won't need any more. I might buy one 24, one other 24 kilo, because then I can do 48 kg Romanian deadlifts which is handy but how nice do they look like that just lined up absolutely beautiful sorry i'm so aware that i'm constantly playing with my hair i'm so aware of this i just can't for some reason just can't stop it by the way here are the samples that i was trying on recently some of them are absolutely fine some of them are very close some of them are nowhere near do you remember when I said to you I'm working on like the most supportive bra? Close, but they missed out really important detail. But I tried it on, it's very supportive, but one of the main features kind of isn't working. So I need to really work on that. And also they didn't do back straps. There's a bit too much fabric. It's a bit too bulky at the moment, but it's incredibly supportive. So Vika, do you want to say hello? Yeah. Here's Chakra. Hello Chakra, sleeping with Mika's new books. Is this closed? Did I do it properly? Oh, so you do that and then what? Oh, I thought it was going to fall on me. Right, so I'm going to go and have a look. Wish me luck this way. So wobbly. Can you open the light up there? Two plus two equals four. Where's Good the light? Pads. Where's the light? Up there. Where? Go on. Up, and then what? Find it. Where is it, babe? It's above your head. Just go up, all the way up and click the switch. But I can't because there's nowhere to stand. Uh, well, you need to go ah! higher. I can't reach it. Yo, there's no way there's going to be... How the fuck am I supposed to find Go it? higher. How have we built this place so much? Step up higher. Yo, we've got to build it, haven't we? Higher, higher. No, I can see my rugs. Just step up. No, I can't, I can't, I can't. Well, I knew this would happen. Well, I actually can't do that. Also, you just missed that. 
Will you put the light on for me? Why? Just put the light and then I'll be able to see. Have we filmed it so much? That's going to be horrible when we move house. Yeah, but you know, if we ever wanted to move house again. I'm going to take you guys up there just to show you how horrifying it is. Trying to do Ramadan decor. Bismillah, bismillah. Oh, so scary up here, shit. Guys, look up here. It's horrifying. Look behind me. How am I supposed to find Ramadan deco here? There's probably going to be spiders crawling on my hair and shit. What's all those suitcases? Oh, I just want to see what's in the Smith bag. One second. Sid, don't do that! If I fall, he's crawling up my leg. Babes, don't do that! Don't do that, Sid! You kicked me in the face. No, I didn't. <laughs> Babes, I'm going to fall! Shit, get me out of <laughs> No, switch off the light. Don't do that to me! Switch off the light, man. I can't reach the bloody light. Don't do that to me. We have moved today. Crawling my legs. He's cr I'm trying to put you guys down here and put you down here. He's crawling on my... Oh, this is so scary. Okay, I just need to... No, I'm not... I can't... I just need to go up a minute and see in that Smith's bag. Oh, so scary. Bismillah. Oh, so tight up here. What's in there? Oh, it's Ramadan stuff. I knew it. The Wait, the ba Ramadan bag's right here. Yeah, look. Ramadan bags. Woohoo. Okay. No, I'm going to pass you this bag first. No, no, just go up I'll go up in a minute. Let me just Here, take this. Oh. Shit, it's so fucking scary. Fucking hell. Oh, I don't like it. What if something crawls out of me? I'd be so bad in the jungle. Here, we've got Egyptian Ramadan and all. Here, we'll just take the bunting. One bunting. Catch that, babes. Okay. Let me just get the bag. <sighs> okay. Time to switch. How did you switch off the light? Oh. God, this just feels so dangerous. Okay. Wait, what about any abeyas? Yeah, go up. What abeyas should I wear? I can't go in there, I'm not climbing fully. Why? What's the big deal? <laughs> do you know what? I should clickbait you all and say gin stories and have the thumbnail in here. Yeah, it, no. Shouldn't I? But it's not in focus. How scary. Really, I really want to convert the loft into our ensuite bedroom. Into a muslin. Sid won't let me. Is that the light? Oh, that's so scary. Oh, dear lord. Dear lord. Sid, Sid kept fake crawling up my legs and you know how much I hate spiders. Sid, when are you going to finish painting that? That on top of your head. Soon. Why do you look so scary? You look so creepy, you weirdo. I knew we had one of these. Yay! Dust. Eight day goodies. I can't remember who sent me these last year, but I can use these then for Hannah Mika's presents this year. There's on it, Lila and Tiny. Oh yeah, it's Lila and Tiny. They have their cutlery as well. You couldn't really see this in the attic, but this is Egyptian Ramadan bunting. Where can that go? Across the table, I suppose. Such a tiny one as well. So rubbish. We have the Ramadan advent calendar to hang up, which is this way. Ramadan. I've got another mini snack one. Get that out as well. I'm thinking Faid, I'd rather actually just get them like unicorn and dinosaur balloons, ones that they can play with. So we don't actually have that much decoration, but at least I have like a Ramadan calendar that I can fill up tomorrow and a Ramadan crescent and star tray. Time to make the little man a sandwich. Quite a big one actually. What's that beeping? Oh, it's the fish. I still... Still need to go to the supermarket and get a bunch of Ramadan stuff. But the thing is, stop beeping. Quiet, open again. The thing is, uh, I actually just want to, I actually really just want to go, I mean, I've got a bunch of spices anyway. Who am I kidding? Like I need, like I'm gonna do some mad cooking. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Mika, your sandwich is ready. What do you mean? You just asked for a sandwich. You've got a little snack with it too, look. I don't want a sandwich. What do you mean you said you wanted? I don't want a sandwich. How have you changed your mind so quickly? Should I save it for later? Yeah. 
You'd think he was um, fasting already, but he's not. Fridays is like a day off for me and Sid. We don't really work on Fridays. I hung up the Ramadan thing over here. Hides the ugly pipes. While we wait for the renovation. Oh, this room was supposed to be renovated on the 12th of April. It's now canceled. They canceled on us. It's not happening now till end of May, which is so annoying. So me and Sid are literally this close to just doing it ourselves. But I also know how that usually pans out and it usually means it never gets done. And then I hung up these over here. Looks a bit crap, to be honest with you. I have no decoration whatsoever, but whatever. I've actually had quite a busy week. And you know what? Today, dealing with all my dad's stuff, because he's like stuck right now in Poland, trying to get to Saudi. And we're trying to bring him back because he missed his flight. And then we have to book him another one. Oh my God, quite stressful. Um, so that whole thing has just thrown me off for the whole day. And the microwave is done. Sid, are you excited for Ramagama Ding Dong? No. Stuff for life, just stop doing that. Are you excited for Ramadan? What mode is this in? Um, automatic. Mm. Why? Just wondering. I think it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Um, are you excited for Ramadan? Got one day left. So it just really just doesn't listen, just goes straight into tech zone. Like you just think to yourself about the technological. Yeah. I just think about my flyaways. I'm asking you about Ramagam. Are you excited for Ramagam for your first fast? Am I excited? Yeah, are you excited it's for It's going to be difficult, isn't it? It is going to be difficult, but it's not going to be as difficult as last year. We're going to attempt to upload daily. <sighs> Sid and Dina questions, aren't we? So it's not just daily on this channel, it's also daily over there. As long as we don't argue, Dina, yeah. Dina's not a T-W-A-T to me, then we can upload T-W-A-T. Twat. <laughs> I didn't say it on purpose. What do you want to use this month for? Sleep. No, you can't. <laughs> We've got a busy month. <laughs> I want to use this month. Why am I doing this? To. Hmm. I haven't had a think about it, you know. Do you know what? Every Ramadan, it starts, I'm not prepared. Mmm. Very true. I get 10 days in. Ten, in the 10th day, I start actually thinking, oh shit, I'm fasting. What, it just kicks in after 10 days? Yeah. Why are you so. <laughs> Top boy vibes right now. Take your hood off. Because I'm going out to get the food, in it. Zero tolerance for that shit. You know what I mean? And then I'm like, yo, oh yeah, I'm fasting. Listen, family, um, we've got time to listen to you now, yeah? Everybody's prepping for Ramadan, fam. Listen, bro. Assalamu alaikum. We innit? literally, no food on a street, Like, alaikum assalam, innit? Ramadan should be like, Improving myself. That's what should happen. Except it doesn't. No. Because I'm not prepared. Same. But this no. month I really want to embrace trying new things. But also... Like development. You know? Religiously. Spiritually. Please, please growth. Don't. Personal achievements. But it's only one month so you know. Please Let's just survive anyway. Please don't develop anything else. I'm just putting up with the, all the other developments. What, de what developments? You Are know, we supposed to be launching? Your nose, this oh. developing mucus every two seconds and oh, I'll stop leaking. I can't stop sniffing, it's so bad. I'm going to go to the doctor for that next week, inshallah. I actually am, like I'm done with it now. I can't wait to fill this up with dates, nuts. What else is Ramadani? Just things like that, really. This g lane needs to go tell him. Tell him it's so not vibes. Anyway, yalla bye! Ooh, bye! So, I'm filming on my phone because I didn't take the vlog camera out to the supermarket and stuff. We just went to Catalon and I got mad excited because it had like gym gloves, kettlebells, really nice kettlebells, loads of good stuff. Anyway, then we went to Tesco. And then we're supposed to go to the turkey shop to get Ramadan stuff, but then I get a message through saying it's Ramadan tomorrow, not Sunday. As in, it's tonight. As in, the first fast is tomorrow. Sorry, the kids got teddies and they're roaring. 
I was I was ready for Sunday. Like tomorrow morning, I I'm still gonna go to the gym. So how exciting! It's Ramadan tomorrow now, and I'm gonna put this vlog up tonight. This vlog up tonight. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Sid bought them both kids basketballs so he can get them into it. Pads for um, punching and kicking because the six weeks MMA course that I did has come to an end and I've got no one to do anything with again. I've got no one to go to any of the classes with so I bought the pads so that I could do it with Sid at home. And I bought these lightweight gloves for my kettlebell. Uh, work. I really love malted flavour, so I got some like malted biscuits and some protein bars as well. We went to Big Tesco, obviously Big Tesco, and we were supposed to go and get like food from from um, the Turkish shop and stuff, but in the end it was getting really late and the kids were too tired, so we literally got the most random, random little bits. And I wish I bought the vlog camera because it was so funny because we didn't have a basket or a trolley and all four of us, kids included, were just carrying things and we just kept dropping it. So we got some juice, got some halal sweeties, ofs, got oat milk, Nescafe, uh, also my Kenko three-in-ones, which I love. The kids picked Oreos cereal for breakfast. These are amazing K-Varg. Um, Protein yogurts, really amazing. 15 grams of protein in each one. Uh, Sid got some Weetabix for Sahul. Also just bought our favorite noodles. So nothing really, oh, and then we got some pans. Cause then as soon as Sid heard it was Ramadan, he was like, quick, let's get some cooking pans. I was like, all right then, don't really need them. But anyway, that's the little bits of shopping that we did. And then I was just said to Sid, listen, if we need other stuff for cooking tomorrow, then we'll go to, the Turkish shop tomorrow during the fast because it's actually the weekend anyway and the kids are home from school for the first first fast no we need a rest damn anyway it's Ramadan when this video goes up it's Ramadan tonight so that's good timing god I better end this vlog really I really better end this vlog I didn't even see much I really better end this vlog so I can get it up in time. I guess this is the first vlog of Ramadan. But I am gonna film my first sahur if I wake up. 